I have messed up badly. I've made so many mistakes. I'm trapped in this cycle of guilt and shame. I'm fed up of the whole thing. I don't think there is any way out. This is the end of everything. You may go in now, Miss Sandra. All right. Thank you. Miss Sandra, come in. Welcome, Miss Sandra. You can have your sit. Thank you, sir. We have run the test on your blood sample. Okay. What is the result? I'm very sorry to tell you this, but there's nothing I can do about it. What is that? It is painful that you are HIV positive. HIV? Miss Sandra, calm down please, it can be managed on drug. And there will be no problem. Put your mind at rest. It is a small thing if well managed. Dr. Drake, I'm HIV positive. Thank you. It is a small thing Miss Sandra. I can't be living with this incurable disease, I think should put an end to it now, before everyone will know about it. Miss Sandra, what is the problem? Because, I have been watching you since you came in. You are so worried, can you share it with me? David, don't worry, I will sort it out. Alright Ma, just that. There is nothing that has no solution. Thank you. You may go back to your sit. But wait, you mean everything has solution? Yes! Absolutely yes. Okay. What if someone have an incurable disease, like HIV AIDS? If all the doctors of this whole universe said that there is no cure for HIV AIDS, it cannot be like that in the hand of this daughter that I know. Are you sure? Okay, who is the doctor? The great doctor is Jesus. The miracle worker. He will bring you peace and freedom from any problem. Jesus came to save the lost, to bring healing to the brokenhearted. He offers redemption and a new beginning. The Bible says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. No one call on the name of the Lord and got disappointed. There is nothing too hard for God. With God, all things are possible. And with God, nothing shall be impossible. The price has been paid. Your only responsibility is to come to Him. The Word of God says in the book of John, chapter 3, reading from verse 16, it says, For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Come to him now, and be saved. He said, Come to me all ye that labor, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God bless you as you take the step of faith. Let us pray. Lord, I surrender my brokenness to you. Heal my hearts and grant me salvation. Forgive me all my sins. I surrender all to your Lordship today. Lord Jesus, come into my heart and be my Lord. After few days of Sandra's encounter with Jesus, What is it, Doctor? I don't understand. You don't understand what? The test result. I run it three times, but showing the same result. And what is that? That you are HIV negative. I don't understand. You were tested positive about two weeks ago, but now, after thorough check, you were negative. This is surprising me. Don't waste your energy. It was done by the best doctor in the world, Dr. Jesus. Just one torch, take away HIV AIDS. Really? Please I would like to know this doctor too. Yes, he is for everyone. Salvation is a journey from brokenness to redemption, from despair to hope. Through faith in Jesus Christ, we can find forgiveness, healing, and a restored relationship with God. HIV AIDS gone. Let us embrace the gift of salvation, share it with others, and walk in the freedom and joy that comes from knowing Christ. God bless you. See you in the next video tomorrow by the same time. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and share. Also drop your comment, and if you've not subscribed, 
please do so, and turn up the notification bell, so that once we drop new content, YouTube will let you know. Thank you. God bless you. And don't forget that, Jesus loves you.